Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week of October 31st. Uh, In your first row, we are going to look at your current general energies that are coming in for you this week. And your second row, we're going to do the unexpected, anything that you don't see coming in for you at this time. In your third row, we're going to look at what is coming towards you at this time. And in your last row, we're going to look at any messages from your future self. So in your first row, For your general energies, you have this authority card and this independence card. Uh, I feel like you're just kind of taking control of your own life. You even have the world with the two of wands coming up in your second row, which is pretty interesting because it's like you're taking the lead in your own world. (laughs) You know, I know know that sounds obvious, but, you know, I feel for some of you, it's kind of like you're kind of taking a leadership role over your own life. For some of you, this could be after some sort of difficulty that you've experienced in the recent past. So... You have the three of swords here and there could have been like a breakup or a separation. But again, this could also be like a work separation, a business separation, something like that. And I feel this has caused you to almost, I wouldn't necessarily say that you've had a glow up, although I do feel that could be part of it. I feel like it's caused you to take more responsibility for your own life in in the best way possible. It's leading to success. You have the page of pentacles, the three of swords and the four of wands here. Again, You could have recently had a breakup or a separation. For others, this could also have to do with your health. And I do feel that, again, I'm not a doctor, so do not take this as medical advice. But I do feel some of you could have had a health concern or issue that could have kind of like slowed things down. Um, The thing that I really love about this reading is the fact that you have the Page of Pentacles. This to me kind of says that you're starting back up. You're starting to get moving forward again. You're kind of releasing whatever this issue was. So if you have had any type of issue at all, it doesn't matter. I feel this is like the fresh, kind of like the fresh start. And that's really the vibes that I'm getting from your reading is it's kind of giving me the vibes of a fresh start. Even at the end here, you have this V for victory card, which I love. So there could be a victory coming in after a fresh start. You even have the four of wands. And the four of wands, of course, can be marriage. And again, maybe you had a breakup with someone you married or you thought you would marry, you know, take it how it resonates. But really, it's a portal card. And the four of wands says that something has been completed in your life. And based off the fact that you have the world here, I would say that you've ended one cycle and you're crossing through this this threshold here and you're probably gonna have a celebration in the near future. You know, to me, the four wants doesn't necessarily guarantee a celebration, but I kind of get the feeling that based off the fact that you have a star here as well, that there is a celebration coming in for you, something that you've been hoping to accomplish. We could look at this almost as an accomplishment. You know, I always say that this right here, it kind of looks like a finish line, you know, like that you would see at a race or something. So I kind of feel that you're very close to a finish line, um, even though, again, I feel that crossing through the threshold, you know, breaking the finish line is going to be the thing that leads to this success that I see coming in for you. Let's see. With the Page of Pentacles, you have the Five of Wands. Definitely experience some sort of conflict. Again, this could be anything like we already described. I feel like you've been through something that maybe caused some conflict. The thing with the Five of Wands is that they have learned. You know, they are meant to look like they are young children or just younger people. It is a card of immaturity, but really it's a card of learning. They're using sticks to fight. They're not using swords. So you've clearly learned something. And the Page of Pentacles, I feel, is saying you're just ready for something new. With the Three of Swords, you have the Five of Pentacles. I Like, I don't know how to say this <laughs> in a good way here, Libra, but I get this feeling of needing to just you know, kind of let something go. I feel like the faster that you get past something, the better here with the Three of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. You know, I'm, I'm getting the words like water off a duck's back, you know, popping into my head. And I kind of feel like the more that you can be focusing on what you can control in the future, regardless of what you've been through. And I know it, I know it's hard, whatever, because I kind of feel, I feel it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it with that. Some of you have been through something like a difficult breakup or a separation or something difficult recently. But, and I know it's hard, but I also feel like kind of, um, you know, staying in the energy could be causing some problems. Let's put it that way. With the four of wands, uh, nothing wants to come out apparently. Well, there we go. Uh, you have the empress there. There's the glow up. Here's the glow up right here. Empress to the star. And then you have the hangman. So going this way, it's kind of like saying you need to shine your light. Like, what are you waiting for? <laughs> That's kind of the vibes I get here that you're extremely powerful and they're go- so many good things coming in for you, you've gained some sort of reward. His head is glowing, which represents gaining enlightenment. But I feel you've gained something much, much more than just enlightenment. I feel you've gained, um, you know, kind of like success or something. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. 
You have this Medusa card. It says jealousy leads to downfall. I would avoid jealousy, gossip, as I always say, Mars retrograde. I'd avoid any of that stuff, period. If you see people gossiping at work, walk away. Don't take part in it. It always comes back to bite you during Mars retrograde. You have this Mars, uh, this moon card. It says you will be guided through dark times. Or what does it say? You will be guided through darkness. So I don't think you are in a period of darkness. I actually feel like you've left it, like I said. And now you just need to get moving forward with that um, hangman card. I feel you've made the sacrifice and you're earning your reward here. Again, this is the area, sorry, I didn't say it. This is the area of the unexpected this row. So you have the world, the two of wands, the star card, and the seven of swords. Again, I'm wondering if you are blindsided. You know, I only get this for some of you, not all of you, but I do feel like if you went through a lying, cheating, stealing situation or something that you were completely blindsided here, Libra, maybe you didn't see something, you know, you didn't see it coming. And I don't really feel that there is anything unexpected, which has kind of been the theme this week is that nobody's got anything unexpected because maybe you've already discovered it. And, you know, it kind of makes sense. I'm, I'm doing these readings on the 25th, which is the day of the eclipse. Mm, Scorpio eclipse is the truth. I'll tell you what, <laughs> you know, it is the truth coming out, truth being exposed, discovering something. I mean, even you can look at the star as the truth coming out or the truth being exposed, right? So sometimes the star can expose things in our life. But what, what is it really exposing? You see that there are those seven stars around that one big star, of course, in the middle. And maybe there have been a lot of little things that have been exposed in your life. But what's popping into my head is maybe they've kind of made you refocus. Maybe these things that you've gone through have gotten you to focus on what's really important, this one big star in the middle. That one big star in the middle is your North Star. It is the thing that guides you through life. It is the thing that you work towards for the rest of your life as well. And it's quite simple. I think that if you can stay focused, you will be very successful. And even the two of wands, you can see that there's that wand standing behind him. That wand standing behind him represents something from his life, something from his past is complete. And now it's time for him to move towards something new. And now it's time for him to kind of like work towards the world. He's got the whole world in his hands and you have the world showing up here. You're becoming truly powerful. I think something people don't realize about her, this sorcer this uh, sorceress in the middle there is that she is a fully integrated being. Some people read her as an intersex being because she has a combination of all energies that exist inside of her. She is everything. And she's able to create with not only her words, her magic, kind of like the magician, but she's also able to create things through action as well. So I feel like you will have become very powerful based off of some challenges or difficulties. It's kind of interesting that I feel like some of you have been going through things for like a short period of time, meaning that this, whatever this difficulty is, is very recent. And then others of you, I feel like have been going through something for a long time, like for years, you've been maybe experiencing some difficulties and challenges, but it's all been, you know, I think now things are starting to add up with that star card. Again, not, not what the star means, but intuitively, well, it does mean seeing the big picture. And I feel intuitively that that's what this is getting at is that now finally you're starting to see, like again, all those little stars around or maybe things that kind of focused you on one big thing. And now you're starting to focus on one big thing. Here you go. With the world and the two wands, you have the, the fool taking a leap of faith. It's like you're finally ready to take some sort of leap of faith or you're finally ready to get moving down a new road is what's popping into my head for some reason. So I feel like you're finally ready to take action towards like bigger and better things or you're finally ready to take action towards something bigger and better in your life. And this is going to lead to a lot of success for you here, Libra. I feel there's, and there's also like a certain sense of purity that I get off of this card. You know, he's holding this white rose and white roses in the tarot represent purity. But sometimes I think maybe we start a business, right? M maybe our true intentions is money, but <laughs> it's not to like change the world. There's something very pure here. Same thing with love as well. I feel for those of you who are looking for love or who have discovered love recently, it's like the the original intention is actually very pure. There's almost like no expectations attached to something. That's what I'm getting intuitively. And because of that, that's exactly why it's going to work is because there's no expectations. I feel like you're kind of like on this very pure journey. I hope that makes sense. With the uh, star card, you have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, um, becoming very independent. Even, you know, pre empress energy, you have the empress here, you have the star. So a lot of glow up vibes going on here as well. And again, I feel like Focusing on purity is going to be your kind of the thing that is going to lead to the most success. She also, funny enough, it's funny that she's coming up on the star where I was talking about focus because she is training her focus. She has a falcon 
And that glove that she has on her hand represents the fact that, you know, she has to train her focus. She has to train how to focus on her North Star, basically. So it's like, that's what you've been doing. With the Seven of Swords, you have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, willing to give something like a, a second chance or a new try or something. I don't know. A new, the words new try are kind of popping into my head. Again, some of you could have dealt with a lying, cheating, stealing situation. Seven of Swords kind of represents doing things differently, though. You know, he is stealing those swords from an army in the background. So it's like he's going to war, but in a different way. And maybe you've just learned how to do things differently. And now you're giving something another chance. Um, I don't think you're going back to anything from the past, uh, but I do feel... You know, if it's love, for example, look, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, this is like new love, um, but you're taking a chance based off the fact that you're trusting that you have learned what to focus on or, you know, something along those lines is popping into my head. It's like an intense reading here, Libra. These are major changes that you've gone through, and I love it. These are like per deep personal changes that you've gone through, and I think you're kind of living more purely. I, I, you know, I don't know how else to say it. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this horse card, it says freedom in action. You also have this bear, it says strength and resourcefulness. A lot of people have been getting cards of resourcefulness. Mm, I don't know, it makes me just think a little bit because of like the economy and stuff like that. I keep telling people, like I wouldn't be paranoid, that's not gonna help anyone. Worrying about money isn't gonna help anyone, but I would just keep an eye on your finances. I wouldn't go crazy spending at this time of year or anything like that. Again, not telling you what to do. Uh, as I always say, I don't think tarot should tell you what to do. And again, if anything, I think we should all be thinking more abundantly so that we can attract abundance and not, I don't, I don't think we should be focusing on like negative economy stuff. That doesn't help focusing on it, right? We can't worry enough to create more abundance as, you know, as Esther Hicks says, it's like, if you're worried about a sick person, it's like, you can't be sick enough to make someone not sick, right? So I feel the same way about the economy. It's like thinking about how horrible it is isn't going to make it better. We have to think more abundantly. We have to focus on what we do want, right? But, you know, I just wouldn't be going crazy at the same time. You have the bear, so clearly you're gonna be very resourceful. I also feel like you're building a lot of momentum in your life as well. You have the hangman, the high priestess, the ace of cups, and the five of swords. Some of you could have a Pisces entering into your life, but what I would say is that a lot of people have been getting the high priestess this week, and I'm wondering if it's just kind of like a little bit more of a withdrawn week. Uh, in the sense that she's withdrawn from the world here, the high priestess. And she's kind of focusing on maybe meditating. Uh, maybe she's focusing on tapping into her intuition. With the Ace of Cups here, she would be more focusing maybe on her heart or the things that lead to fulfillment in her own life. And she wouldn't necessarily be focused on making sure that other people are fulfilled. And we're not talking about doing this in a greedy way. We're talking about focusing on your own fulfillment so you can fill up your cup so that you can help people in the future, for example. So those are things that I would be focusing on here. I do feel there could be a love offer coming in for you. And it might not be a Pisces. It might just be a person who has been in hangman mode. So, or you have been in hangman mode or both of you have been in hangman mode. Hangman mode is like having made some sacrifices, having put your life on pause or a certain aspect in your life on pause and just deciding to gain some inner answers, to gain enlightenment. Again, his head is glowing, which represents enlightenment. You know, in the reverse, the hangman kind of looks like he is dancing. Personally, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the hangman in reverse. It can represent moving forward when the hangman comes up in reverse. And again, I don't read reversals, but I frequently give reversed meanings in in readings. But what I would say is I kind of don't like the, what I'm getting here. I, I, I like what I'm getting here and I don't at the same time. When he's in reverse, he's dancing. It's almost as if he's putting on a show to get something. I kind of feel maybe some of you have recently learned the lesson or again, you're dealing with a person who has learned the lesson that they can't put on a show to get the things that they want in life. You know, it's like maybe you've dealt with a person where it's almost as if it's like, I don't know if you've ever maybe tried too hard to get something in your life and it just doesn't work. And it's probably because you're trying too hard, right? That's what he's doing <laughs> when he's in reverse. It's like he's trying too hard to be successful. It's almost he's doing too much. And I feel maybe some of you have realized that, that you can't do too much. It's like you sometimes we just have to kind of allow something into our life. And that's what I'm getting there. Uh, with the Five of Swords, I feel like there's a risk that needs to be taken. Uh, you know, there's kind of like a little known meaning of the Five of Swords, which it can represent taking a risk. You know, it can represent, of course, separation and all these other things. But again, I read intuitively. I feel like you need to take a risk to get something that you want. But let's see what is going on here. 
With the hangman, you have the two of swords. Here's the risk. Deciding to go over here. Again, maybe you have put yourself in hangman mode to try to figure out whether or not you need to take a risk to go to these, this new island behind you. The new island behind her could represent pretty much anything. It could be her moving, traveling, uh, starting a new business. That new island is just outside of a comfort zone. It's something she's never done before. So I feel like some of you have to leave a comfort zone here. With the Ace of Cups and the, hang the High Priestess, you have the Ace of Cups. So definitely could be a love offer coming in for you. If it's not a love offer, I feel like some of you are kind of choosing fulfillment. And again, this comes from a, a very pure place. Like if you're trying to make a difficult decision right now to maybe like move or travel, like a million things are coming up here. Maybe you want to have just have a new beginning with the fool. Maybe you want a new job. I feel like this is saying as long as your intentions, the reason for why you're doing it is heart-based, then I think you'll be very successful. Again, if you're doing it for another reason like money or just just for money, right? And then I think maybe it's not the right thing for you to do. So you're gonna have to be honest with yourself. I can't do that for you, obviously, but that's what I get here. With the Five of Swords, again, take the risk. <laughs> he's standing, you know, the Two of Wands, he's standing where he has always been. Down here is a village which represents his comfort zone. Plain and simple, I feel like this row is saying you have the resources necessary to gain a bunch of freedom. Again, this horse card says freedom on it. And what else does it say? Freedom and action. So take the action to set yourself free. You're going to be successful. Uh, in your last row here for advice from your future self, you have this V for victory card. And you also have this October card, which is interesting because this reading is basically for the last day of October into November, obviously. Uh, but this reading will also be coming out on October 26th. So if you're watching it early, I would definitely say it would be a good time to, um, you know, kind of set yourself free. Although I do feel that even if you're watching this in November, doesn't matter. I feel there could be a lot of victories coming in for you. And maybe you need to think back towards to October. I would say think back to the 25th. And again, I'm shooting this on the 25th. But the feeling I get is there could be some insights or some information that you gathered on the 25th, on the day of the solar eclipse, that could be setting you free or could be leading to a lot more success in your life. You have the Page of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the um, King of Cups here. Both of these cards are very heart-based energies. They both represent your emotions and how you feel about the things that you want to create in your life. So again, I would trust your emotions with this energy. The Ten of Swords kind of says that something is dead done over with. And maybe some of you don't necessarily want to hear that something is dead done over with, but I really feel there is a blessing coming in for you after a difficult ending. He's making this symbol with his hands here. And that symbol again represents like a blessing or blessings entering into your life. So I feel like there's some sort of blessing coming in for you. Uh, I'm not sure what that blessing is. Could just be a victory. We're going to have to see. With the King of Cups, I would trust your emotions. He has very deep emotions. He's sitting in the middle of the ocean and there are choppy waters around him, but he is choosing to be happy. So, you know, and he's choosing to be in control of his emotions. And that's really all I'm getting there. I do also feel, again, that you need to explore very deeply how you feel about something. Are you doing something for the right reason? I don't know why this is so important. And again, I feel this is maybe only is for some of you who are trying to make a decision. Maybe you're trying to make two choices. And again, the pure answer for whatever reason, that's what I'm getting. The pure answer is the correct answer. Uh, you also have the page of cups. So again, if you're worried that you're not going to find love in the future, I feel like you are. Some of you intuitively, I feel, are very worried that you're not going to be able to find like the type of love that maybe you experienced recently in the recent past, or maybe you have a specific person who you think about where you're, maybe it wasn't right, but at the same time, maybe there was a deep connection there. I, I feel like there's something much better <laughs> coming in for you. So don't sell yourself short. Yeah, with the Page of Cups, you have the Five of Cups. I, again, you know, I feel like there was a past disappointment you lost your taste for something or they lost their taste for you. But you have these two cups here and these two cups, when he sees these two cups, he sees the bridge and the castle as well. So it's kind of like a card that sometimes says to me that there's actually something much, much better entering into your life. You just have to be grateful. Again, the trick with the five of cups is it's a card of gratitude, needing to be grateful for what you do have and not focusing on what you don't have. And trust me, I mean, there have been times in my life where if someone told me that, I would probably punch them, right? Because <laughs> I didn't want to hear it. So I totally understand if you want to punch me right now, Libra. But again, I also feel that what's coming in for you is like freedom is so much better. With the Ten of Swords, again, don't hold on to whatever you've been holding on to. Um, you know, Four of Pentacles holding on too tightly to something and um, not realizing that maybe you're holding on to broken glass and just cutting you 
in your hand. And that's kind of what I get here is that the second you release something, you're setting yourself free. Sorry, my camera might have just turned off there. With the King of Cups, you have the Knight of Wands. See, I feel like there's something much more consistent coming in for you. I do also feel some of you are clearly going on an adventure because if we go like this, Fool, World, Two of Wands, I mean, going this direction, it's like following your heart. Look at this. This way is amazing. So definitely a lot of success going in this direction. Uh, I would focus on things that create momentum in your life is really the gist of this reading. I feel like it's saying that there are certain things in your life that really kind of get things moving forward faster in any whatever area of your life you want to see success. And there are other things that slow it down. I feel like this is saying at, the, at this moment, you need to focus on the things that kind of build momentum. And I don't even think it's so much about speed as it is more about endurance. Like there are certain things in your life that I think lead to, you know, endurance, things that last for a lot longer. And that's what I would be focusing on here. I hope that makes sense. We're going to pull three yes, no question cards now. Again, if you don't have any yes, no questions, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to put all three cards together at the end. But one, two, three, feel free to pause this reading if you need to think of your questions. For question number one, uh, yes, the fool, definitely time to take a leap of faith. You have the fool here in your reading. For question two, yes, definitely, definitely some sort of new beginning coming in for you. And for question number three, yes, you have the resources necessary to do what you want. Every single reading, I thought you had the Queen of Pentacles here already for some reason, but every reading I do for you, you get the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like this is saying it's time to have a new beginning. You might not think you have the resources to do something, but you actually do. Queen of Pentacles, she is resourceful. She might not have the money, but she has talents, gifts, skills, and abilities that could lead to her success. So take the leap of faith here, Libra. This is a pretty good reading. So thank you for being here, Libra. I really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your week.